Jesus loves you. He loves you, you, the deep you. And he loves your prayer. Prayer is not about doing something. Prayer is about being with someone, capital S. Prayer is about being with the someone who loves you, who made you, who created you, who knew that you would exist from all eternity. Prayer is not a, a method or technique. It's not a laundry list of intentions. Prayer is not about saying the right words or filling a quota to appease a wrathful God. Prayer is relationship, relationship with Jesus. Prayer is a conversation, a dialogue. And your prayer is as unique and as unrepeatable as you are. You know, I was reading an article the other day from the Business Insider. Now, I don't read the Business Insider very much. Actually, I've never read it except for this one article, but it was fascinating. It was an article about a scientist named Dr. Ali Benazir who calculated the statistical chances of you existing. So he took into account, you know, the chances of your parents meeting, biological realities, all of that. And he calcul calculated that the chances of you existing is one over 10 raised to the power of 2,685,000. So that number, that's what Dr. Benazir said, is like imagine in all the oceans there was one turtle. And imagine in, into all the oceans, one life preserver was thrown out somewhere in the ocean. The chances of you existing are the same as if that one turtle came and stuck its head up through the middle of the life preserver on one try. Amazing. You are not an accident. You're not a chance. You are intentionally here and God desired and loved that you be here. You matter to him and your prayer matters to him. So when we enter into prayer, to, it's important to really claim that. I am desired by God. He desires me. He doesn't want me to be like somebody else. He wants me to be me. And he wants to enter into conversation with me. So as we continue this week retreat, let's take this time today to ask Jesus, Jesus, show me how you desire me, how you desire my prayer. <laughs>